Dispose of this annoyance at once. For a long time, humans have been taught that if you try hard enough, you can accomplish anything. <laughs> That's adorable. Even if we weren't told this directly, you'd know it just by looking at the world around us. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Player for you, Dong Rampa 2. The Goodbye, despair. The TV and newspapers are overflowing with hopeful messages that say exactly that. I don't want to talk over this too much, but I'm trying to. With people who can't win, people who don't try to win, People who try their best and still can't win. Like me. They are all worthless trash. Hey, fuck you, man. There are two kinds of people in this world. Those who are born with worth and everybody else. No matter how hard a lowly human tries, they will never be the same as someone who was born worthy. They say that effort breeds success, but that's a complete lie. The world is not that accommodating. No matter how hard a small dog tries, it will never become a large dog. No matter how much a penguin tries, there's no way it will ever soar through the sky. Which means unworthy humans will never become worthy, no matter what they do. People with talent don't become talented. They're just born with their abilities right from the start. That's right. Just like you guys. That's why I have so much respect for you all. Ah, just so you know, what I feel is different from admiration. Admiration is wishing you could be like the object of your admiration. But what I feel is not so self-serving. How should I put it? What I feel is more pure. More like a selfless love that wants nothing in return. So... I want you guys to believe me when I say, I don't mind if you kill me. But if that happens, I want you to let me help. I don't care if the killer survives, or if everyone but the killer survives. I just want both sides to do their very best. I want to see with my own two eyes the absolute hope that lies ahead. Yep, I'm really lucky. Someone as insignificant as me will be there when hope and despair collide and unleash their energy. So please, let me help you. If you're planning to kill me, I would be honored to help you carry out your plan. I want you to use me as a stepping stone so everyone can shine. I want you to kill me in a way that befits... <laughs> Okay, cool. I can talk now. Yay. So yes, we are into chapter two. After the first chapter where Byakia finally got his. And we got to fucking tempura fry the chef. Tiny Mineta. Byakia and Terror Terror died just last night. An ordeal like that doesn't change the fact that I still get hungry. I learned this firsthand as I headed toward the hotel restaurant with dreary, sullen footsteps. Ah. <sighs> I've missed this. Oh. It's been too long. What do you mean already here? I just... Uh. Everyone else is here already. <laughs> Just as I thought. The atmosphere in the restaurant is pretty gloomy. But after what happened yesterday, that's to be expected. <laughs> Byakia, who had appointed himself our leader, was killed. And the person who killed him was our friend. And that friend was also killed right in front of us. These guys become friends real quick. After experiencing something like that, it's impossible not to feel sad. Unless you're gonna help that guy. Huh? Or this bitch. I guess some people don't feel sad. Because she's a bitch and probably 30. But... Hmm. 
Letting, are you really letting this fucking kid get your goat? My bitch. Wait, you think murder's the lowest crime possible? Jesus, what are you? Are you the next victim? Body. Okay. Mm. Smell bad. Um. Ugh. Hey, hey, hey! There's a lot of body odor and stale beer. I'm assuming it's the food. <laughs> she didn't say anything remotely funny just now. Hmm. What? Hmm? Oh, right, yeah. Whoa! Yeah, fuck that bitch. She's like an internet commenter. Yeah. Fuck you! What? That was close. <laughs> Good God, you people are easy. Like. <laughs> you haven't bathed? What's her talent again? It has been some time. I have not been able, I have not played this in a bit, so. I may have forgotten some. <laughs> She's spreading the stench. It appears you cannot escape. <laughs> Jesus Christ! What the fuck, Ibuki? The air is suddenly not so tense anymore. Well, I guess it's better than being down forever. If I was all by myself, I probably wouldn't have been able to put my feelings aside to move on like this. I guess I have these guys to thank. Ah, now that you mention it, you're right. Huh. Well, that's just Fuyuhiko being Fuyuhiko, but... Huh? <laughs> well, that may be, but... <laughs> what do you know? What did you two do? Huh? Of 
course not! Impossible! What's the matter? You'd think with all the lightning coming out of his eyes, he'd eventually electrocute himself on his own sweat. Hmm? Mm. He just like slightly to himself, like, yes, pull attention away from me. <laughs> I did nothing. Ew. Ugh. Don't. No. Don't fuck teddy bears, kids. Stupid. Just. There's not a whole lot there. It's real scratchy. And. Actually. That shit holds stench. Servant. What the hell? Right, yeah, fuck. We just completed a chapter, so we get a fucking new island. Huh? One of the mono bees disappeared. Aren't they robots? Let me tell you this. <laughs> Nature, collective will of the world. Burn in the fires of pandemonium! Kind of R1. What does that even mean for a bear? Just okay. like you lose all hair or just the top stuff? Monokuma said those familiar sounding words to us. Once again, he disappeared. It means we got a new island, y'all. It's time to fucking explore. Yeah. But... Hey, hey. I'm surprised you admitted that so freely. You did? You serious? It's almost like she's a robot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, hey. Actually, a lot of people do. But the point is, we're doing it together. Now then, let us begin. I wanna know what's up with this arm. Like, is it just there for show or? Hmm? Oh. No longer possible. Hey, what is that? Hey, hey. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna kick myself in the dick if it turns out that she, that they're everybody's right, but I don't think she is. It seems everyone's attention has shifted toward exploring the new island. Expecting to find something that'll help us escape the situation, everyone filed out of the restaurant. I just don't think that she is the same as Monokuma. No, do it now. Clean her the fuck up. Like, not just for her sake, but for everyone else's. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yay! Huh? Hey. I'm a stink bomb in her asshole or something. Yoko pulled Mahiru's hand, smiling like a child before a school trip, and headed toward the cottages. Wash each other. I see. Washing each other, huh? It's like one of my Japanese animes. See if anybody's in the lobby. That's a nope. Onward to the new island! Okay, my pet's not dead yet. This way to the center island, I believe, and then we can get... Yep, then we can get to the other islands. I'm real spindly. My pet acted up again. Oh, dear. Have anything. Let's give you some of these. Okay. She's right. The mana beast that was blocking this bridge is gone. Plus, the gate that was blocking the bridge is now open. I guess Monami was right after all. What lies beyond this bridge? All right, I guess I should find out. So this is the new island. Is that the school? The ambiance seems different compared to the first island with the hotel. Well, now's not the time for me to make carefree ob observations. Ah. There might be a clue here that tells us how to leave the island. I need to find it. Yeah, but I'm still walking in front of the foreground. It's nearly showtime! Seal. Is he talking about the bridge? Whatever. It's not like I really care.
The signboard says diner. I guess I should try going inside. Huh? That looks like... Oh, Fihiko. Huh? No. Fuihiko suddenly starts yelling at me as he held a hamburger in one hand. Wait. Hold on. Why is he here? He was at the restaurant. He was at the restaurant. Why does he know about the new island? Just a quick scan for bear. Nope. So just Fuihiko. Hey, why are you here? How did you find out we can get on we can go to this island? Shut the hell up. Jeez. Annoying person. Hey, about that annoying person. It's got nothing to do with you. Yeah, we're all in this together, man. Actually, it does have to do with me. I don't know what you're thinking, but we're all in this situation together. You're not the only one stuck on this island. We all have to work together. You should know that by now, too, so... Why are you avoiding us? Hmm. Not to rely on anyone. Hmm. Huh? Hey, are you actually? Don't misunderstand. Have a little sister? Shut the hell up! You brought that up yourself. Anyway. I look forward to watching you die. Nothing good can come of it. Still saying that. Of course. Even if you don't actually mean that, you're awful just for saying it. What the hell? It was stupid of me to talk to a guy like him. I like Hajime. He's a... He's different enough of a protagonist from Makoto. So that this doesn't just feel like we're just fucking doing the same game again. It's always a worry when you get into these... Kind of games like this and where you have like a different protagonist and whether it's going to be like... The same guy again or... Actually someone different. But, yeah, fucking, Hajime feels like a different guy. The fuck? A scream. The voice just now. Wasn't that a Buki? Oh, this is a free roam. That scream came from behind the building. What happened?
What did you do? Ibuki, are you all right? What happened? What's going on? Huh? Pointing. <laughs> so I glanced over to the beach where Ibuki was pointing her finger. this you're not using your muscles properly your athletic body is going to waste shut up all i gotta do is win what was that you're gonna win against me that's quite absurd come on nekamon or do your own oda oda ah! or just a fucking sure you can whatever Saying, why are you guys fighting? Huh? <laughs> That's even worse. The rules for the the rules for the school trip clearly state excessive violence is prohibited. <laughs> it looks like a real fight. Dude, you're built like a mountain with lightning coming out of your eyes. You could kill everyone here. Even so, why the sudden interest in training? What the? Fool. Oh? Yeah, you gotta get gooder like me. Pay attention. You. Then. Don't forget. Side. Is your serious side some kind of beast person? Oh, and I see a Monokuma. However, that girl, she's probably going to get even stronger. Yeah, you're probably right. First, you're mine. Huh? Are you serious? I'm skipping, I am, fuck ass. Well, now then, Nekamaru. Oh. 
No, I get that, but training that resembles an actual fight might be fun, but just be careful not to get hurt, both of you. Impossible! Let's search the rest of this place. What the fuck are you? I thought this was a beach house since it's near the edge of the beach. It looks pretty luxurious. I guess it's a celebrity style beach house. Yo! We're the only ones on this island anyway. We're the only ones on this island anyway. So anywhere we go is a private beach. Hey, hey. What dream? Say, like, oh yes, That's I have right. a small session of a beach, or hey, we have an island. He's his usual happy-go-lucky self. Well, I guess that's one of his good qualities. Miss Sonia. I made a bad choice going with you first. You can't. Whoa. Hey. Yes. Yes, she is, probably. Ah, so you mean changing in here isn't allowed, not going to the beach itself. Huh? You might let her down, though. <laughs> Got it? Burn. What studies? You guys? What the Jesus. Even have fingers. How can you fire that thing? You. What are you holding? I mean, naturally. Hey, hey, hey. I want to see that. I want to see the day that comes where someone breaks roll and so Monica would just fucking blast them away. Uh. Yeah, I feel very tired all of a sudden. Oh shit, we got a lot of shit in here. Let's look at the garbage. There's a trash can. But I don't have anything I need to throw away. There's a lot of drinks here, like water and coffee. But most of these drinks have colored dyes that might be bad for your health. Can we drink these for free? There's a fancy looking bench. Looks like something you'd see at a resort. It looks horribly uncomfortable because it's made of fucking stone. Looks like there's a closet. Looks like this is the closet. Um, the inside is... Looks like a small storage room. It's almost like a walk-in closet. There's surfboards arranged on the shelf. But I'm not into surfing, so it doesn't really matter to me.
Looks like this is the shower room. There's a notice on the door. Judging from the illustration, it looks like it's being repaired or under construction. Something like that. This door leads to the road by the tunnel. Yeah, which reminds me. When we mentioned Nagito at the restaurant, Kazuichi looked like, looked like he was pretty unsettled about something. I guess I should ask him about that. Yes, I should. Kazuichi. Uh, which reminds me, I have something to ask you. Huh? Well, it's about Nagito. Whoa! I haven't seen that guy all day. Do you know where he is? Well... He ended the conversation very forcibly, just as I thought he's definitely hiding something. Mikabaru was hiding something too. So let's see if we can get any more out of him. Never mind. That dicks. And away we go. Back to the second island. Check the diner. Checked all the beach shit. Now there is just left. Pharmacy, a library, and an ancient ruin. Oh boy, I love pharmacy drug cosmetics. What the fuck? It's a poke center, what the shit? Wait, is that, is that actually tied? That looks like actual tied. I didn't think they did clearance on that. What's with you? I was shouting. Such sad choices. More importantly, this is a drugstore? Looks pretty spacious. But it looks like there's no one else here. Well. Noise. That sounds dangerous. When it comes to shots, I should definitely decline. Oh, no way to leave me. <laughs> She's just so sad. Just all the time. Wow, that's an impressive amount of books. It's probably a library, but nevertheless, it looks pretty overwhelming. Oh. A bronze statue of Monami. I mean, Usami, before she got redesigned. Looks like it broke when it got dropped. Getting treated like a nuisance even as a statue. It's pretty sad. Uh, yep. 
All right, look at that motherfucker up there. This is the bronze statue of Monokuma. It looks so arrogant. What a lame statue. Been found. Yeah, you have your slimy little shit. This one, same thing. The books in this shelf. What language are they written in? If I don't know that, I don't feel like I'll. I don't feel like forcing myself to read them. from again but isn't it strange I mean does resort really need a library like this I am concerned you're right the fact that we're the only humans around here is even more strange I think I know how library works. Um. And what about your explanation? Got it? That one statue back there not have a fucking stand? Don't act like a teacher. Hey! You're just fucking floating there. You, you're even more confusing than Monokuma. So what's your real identity? What's your purpose? <laughs> Running away as soon as things get inconvenient. That's even more suspicious. However... Yeah, she's probably lying. I see, I see. Which means... Now, hold on, did you just say this island's guidebook? Fucking yes, please. What language is this in? I have no clue. English. Then. It's in English. I could read it myself. You can read it, Sonya? <laughs> Damn, bitch. We read a bunch of books and shit. 30 language. Does the royal family have a limit? So, Jeff Island, a small island in the Pacific Ocean, being known for being a paradise of eternal summer. Jeff Island consists of a small central island surrounded by five other islands. I'm gonna be reading the parts in parentheses. I'm gonna be reading the parts in quotes. So, yeah. You know. The outer islands were developed as resorts, while the central island houses a large administrative building. No fucking building there, it was a park. Yeah, there were no signs of any building there. The only thing there was the Monokuma Rock at the park. Um. Huh? Isn't that. Statue in the park. Are you talking about that bronze statue that turned into the mana beasts? But 
That statue is in the middle of a park. Not in the lobby of some building. Please wait. Huh. Well, some people wanted bridges. Critics worried about their effect on the environment, so none were built. What does that mean? Then, what are we using to move between the islands? It's a broat. Palm Jumeirah? Artificial island. I mean, it's a bit extravagant, Just but kidding. given what we're seeing, entirely possible. Well done. <laughs> now you're here. Those guys. Uh, who is it now? The ultimate despair? Who are you talking about? <laughs> hey, hey, hold on a second. Voice just cracked. But before my voice could reach him, Monokuma disappeared as usual. It cannot be. Th there's no way. That logbook, it's it's probably just old. You are right. That's right. That's obviously what it is. He's just saying th strange things to confuse us. Damn it. No way I'll fall for that. What language are these books written in? French? Italian? I don't even know. I see. I see. What are you reading? Are those political books or maybe some kind of philosophy? Oh, right. You're right, you're a person with interests. It, that's quite a surprise. You are wrong. Oh, just because you're okay. Okay, yeah. That's not a good excuse at all. However. <laughs> that genocide jack or whatever. I feel like I've heard about her before. Wait, what? Most tight. Wait, why do you? Why do they all know it's a girl? Wow. What? What? Why? Why do they know that? Do you know how many high school and middle school girls wear sailor uniforms these days? See? Hmm. You are really into this. Sonia, calm down. Amazing. Hmm. 
gently. I haven't done any talking. Please wait. <laughs> See? Oh, man. She is interesting. Oh, is you totes intrigued? Is this kind of like a young lady crushing on a total bad boy type of situation? Regardless, it's clearly different from a princess who's obsessed with serial killers. Hajime. That poop. Oh, you. Oh, it's you, Chaki. What happened? Well? I was almost there anyway. Hmm. Based on her pushy tone, she might have found some kind of clue. Then I guess she head over to the ancient rooms. Whisk keeps cracking and I don't know why. I am fucking 26. Yeah, I mean, this is Hope's Peak. don't know how, but I do see what she means. There might be a resemblance to Hope's Peak Academy. Well, there are a lot of similar looking buildings. It's just a coincidence that this ruin looks similar. Right? Right? It's a coincidence, right? Hmm. Hey, bastard. Chucky found something. I wonder what it is. Seriously, this guy, he's just so carefree and fucking horny. Hey, Chiaki, what did you find? If it's on the way off this island, does it have something to do with the, with the with this island's secrets? Wow. Hard to understand. See? Door. It's hard to make up from all the dust, but this is the door you mean, right? That's right. Hey. Well, it's metal with a keypad and a fucking Gatling gun.
I don't understand. It looks like a fucking spaceship. For now. You're right. Just as Chiaki said, we brushed off the dust and cleared the roots that were stuck to the door. And then... What is this door? It doesn't feel like it belongs in an ancient ruin. What's going on? And... What is the symbol on the door? Oh. Oh. Um. Future. No one noticed the gun. Yes, yes. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Yes, yes, it does. Because of the fucking gun. Huh? It's a fucking minigun. Gun. Huh? That's a gun? So... How did you not know that was a gun? Both fucking here. Huh? I'll pick you up. That shit. Sorry about that. Sorry. Little tire controller slips. Pretty bad job hiding it. Cause uh, we found it. These islands are probably fucking Japan. I'm not sure either. Hey, um. Hey. 
Put your tongue in your mouth! Yeah. My body can't handle a supersonic meteor rush like that! Well, man. Good God, what is this fucking game? Fuck, I forgot about that. Shit. I know. Fine, fine. Also, he's a bear. It's it's in the name, man. Oh, honeys. You poor innocent darlings. Thinking there's hope. What? I mean, there is the existential sense, but in the, like, the actual sense of like, hey, yeah, we can get out of here and go do whatever. Yeah, nah. Just, just not. What? Hey, bastard. World Ender, what the fuck? World Ender? They're not the ultimate despair. Or are they? Come on! I mean, like, maybe not wrong? Fuck you. Don't panic. Wanna give us the photos or like a video or something? Silence! 
I don't know why, but every time I go to record these, I end up being super tired. Gotta kill him like super dead, bro. I'm gonna punish you. No. <laughs> Don't pull my ears, they're gonna come. Monokuma and Monami departed from the area, leaving the rest of us dazed and confused. Alright, alright, alright. What was that just now? What's going on? Yeah, I feel you, girl. Hey, hey. You're probably right. Hey. After exploring the new island, all we uncovered are more mysteries. As we lowered our heads and bemoaned that reality, we began heading back to our cottages. <laughs> Fuck, I'm missing one on this island. Shit! I'm dead tired from walking around all day. Jeez, I don't know what the hell's going on, but it's starting to make my head hurt. Ancient ruins, strange doors, traitors, and world ender? I have no idea what's going on anymore. I don't even feel anxious about it. I guess I should go to sleep for now. With that, I laid my exhausted body onto the bed and closed my eyes. Ellie's favorite food is definitely crab. I also don't like shrimp, apples, tomatoes, and seasoned trout eggs. Uh, I don't like red foods at all. Red foods are red because they have crab inside them. It's actually a conspiracy why the crab industry is trying to make me overcome my disgust. There's no way I'd fall for that. I will never, ever eat red foods. You see, our society is filled with various hidden conspiracies that are closer than you might think. Please look forward to the next Monokuma Theater! Make sure you guys be careful, too. Ahem! Hope speak good! Now then, let's show- Yep, uh, we're up. Morning already, huh? It feels like morning came so quickly, like the night got skipped or something. That explains why I feel so tired. Yeah. But I'm hungry, so I should just go to the restaurant and need something. And, yeah, I think we're going to call it there for today, folks. Thank God for joining me. Sorry for the short episode this time, just... I'm just really tired for some reason, and I do not know why. I mean, we'll be getting back to it uh, very soon. Until then, though, I'm dead. See you guys next time. Excuse me while I whip this out.